Hello there. Speed and timing are crucial when working with phasers. And in Granime 3 version 2.3, keeping your phasers perfectly in sync has become easier than ever. Here's a simple example. We've created three sequences with dimmer phasers for different fixtures. Each has an X phase applied from 0 to 360. All three are assigned to Speedmaster 1, and that Speedmaster is assigned to an executor, just like real life. Now, when we start each sequence separately, there's always a slight delay. Even though the recorded phasers share the same starting point, they weren't started at the exact same moment, which makes them look out of sync. With the new option Fast Sync, we can fix that instantly. We'll assign Fast Sync to our Speedmaster executor. Now let's try this. And you can see that all phasers instantly snap back into sync. Perfect if you need everything to align immediately. There's also the resync function. It works in a similar way, but instead of snapping instantly, it smoothly transitions the phasers back to their sync starting point. This makes resync especially useful during live shows, where sudden jumps would be distracting. Let's restart our phasers and try the resync option. Nice and smooth. Now you may already know the learn speed button. It sets the speed of your running phasers on the fly. But in version 2.3, there's another powerful option, Learn. Learn doesn't just set the speed, it also defines the starting point and the speed of a phaser at the same time. In other words, it's like combining Learn Speed and Resync into one command. This means you can smoothly bring your phasers into sync, while adjusting the speed exactly as you want. So in short, Fast Sync instantly aligns your phasers, Resync smoothly transitions them back into sync, and Learn sets both starting point and speed at once, giving you the smoothest control possible. Try out these new sync tools and let us know what you think and how you will use them. Happy programming!